Hello my family members, today we will solve 5 pseudocode that was asked in Accenture of campus on 27th June 2023. Believe me, most of the questions were repeated again on 19th to 23rd July of campus drive. It may come again, right? So give importance for today's session. Before starting, I would like to request you to watch the playlist regarding previous year question. Link is given in the description box. Kindly watch that and subscribe this channel. Okay, let's start. Guys, pause the video and try to solve the problem and give me the output in the comment, right? Pause the video, right? Okay, I'm solving. For convenience, actually, I have written the code here at first. So, at first, p is equal to 1, q is equal to 3, r is equal to 8, right? So, p is equal to q plus 1 plus r. What q is equal to 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 8, that is 12, right? And it is checking if 5 greater than r, 5 greater than 8. No, this is false, right? This is false. So, it will go to the else part. So, r is equal to p plus 1 that is p is equal to 12 plus 1 13 plus r 13 plus 8 is equal to 21 right and it will go to initialize a new p value that is p is equal to r plus r that is new r value is 21 right so 21 plus 21 is 42 plus q is equal to plus q is equal to 3 so 42 plus 3 is equal to 45 right and again it is it is checking that if q plus r that is 3 plus 21 that is 24 less than r uh, less than 21 24 less than 21 no it is not so it will go to the it will actually jump to here right so q is equal to new value is 11 plus 10 that is 21 and plus q 21 plus q is uh, the q value is 3 so 21 plus q is equal to 24 and we will now add all the variable p plus q plus r actually what is the sum p plus q plus r 24 is q r is 21 that is 45 right and 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 p is equal to 12 sorry p is equal to 45 right so 45 plus 45 is equal to 90 right so the answer will be 90 answer is 90 okay let's start a new question guys pause the video and try to solve the problem if not possible then watch otherwise your brain will not work actually in the exam right try to actually maintain your brain and sharpen your brain right okay i'm solving guys actually a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 c is equal to 9 at first we have to do a bitwise and operator and operation between b plus c and b so b plus c means c plus 6 plus 9 that is 15 and b b is equal to 6 so binary value of 15 is 11 11 right and binary value of b that is 6 that is written as 0 1 1 0 right and the operation is and so 0 and 1 is 0 that means false and 1 and 1 is 1 that is true right so 1 and 1 1 1 and 1 1 0 and 0 0 0 and 0 0 right so this is again 1 1 0 and it is the binary value of 6 right so this is 6 it is now checking if 2 minus c plus a new c value is 6 right so 2 minus c means 6 2 minus 6 plus a is equal to 5 2 minus 6 plus 5 that is uh, minus 1 plus 2 that is plus 1 right so plus 1 greater than 11 no that is false so we will actually 
jump to here right so c is equal to a plus b c is equal to a plus b means new no a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 6 so a plus b is equal to 11 and we will print a plus b plus c right a plus b plus c means 5 plus 6 that is 11 and new c value is 11 so total it will be 22 right so the answer will be 22 i hope uh, you have also answered in your mind right okay let's go to another question what is the output of the pseudocode if a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 5 guys please pause the video and try to solve the problem because otherwise it is uh, actually not work going to work for you okay i'm solving the problem actually what happens here a and b operation and 6 and a operation it we have to operate this guys if you can't solve this problem like and operation or operation then kindly uh, kindly watch the video i have already mentioned about this and answered briefly right so please watch the video from the given link in the description okay so actually what happens here that is uh, a and b operation so at first a means let's say one and let's say b is five it is not an assumption but it was given so right a is one b is five so a one that is one binary value is zero zero one and five binary value is one zero one right so true and true is true and false and true is false right so it will be one zero zero one so it will it is one right so, and b minus a means five minus one that is four right one less than four and it is actually true right one less than four and we will again check a plus b that is six greater than this value and bit bitwise and operation between six and a so six and a means six binary value is one one zero and binary value of zero is zero zero one sorry binary value of one is zero zero one so if we conduct and operation then false and true is false false and true is false false and true is false that means zero so this will be zero so we'll check if six greater than zero yes it is true right so both are true both conditions are true so we'll go into the loop so new value of a will be a is equal to 1 plus 2 plus b a is equal to 1 plus 2 so 3 plus b b value is 5 so 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 and again we will initialize or store a new value of a that is b plus 3 so b plus 3 means b is 5 and 3 is uh, b plus 3 is 8 right so it will 8 and returning a minus our recursion function so a is 8 and we will again for we will again calling the function so it will again go here and again it it will check if these conditions are matching or not so it will check now new value is b and b so both the actually both the values or arguments are now 5 right so a is 5 and b is 5 so 5 5's uh, binary value is 101 and 101 so 1 and 1 is true 0 and 0 is false 1 and 1 is true so it will be again 101 that is 5 right so 5 less than 0 that means b minus a 5 minus 5 right so 5 minus 5 is 0 so 5 less than 0 it is not possible so it will not go into the loop so it will actually jump to the out of the if condition loop right so b is equal to b plus 1 that is b was 5 new b is 5 right and the b plus 1 that is 6 and a value is also 5 right now right and b is 5 so 5 plus sorry b is equal to now 6 so 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 right so actually we 
are doing the function of fun bb right so now it will go and store the value here so it will actually be answer of 8 minus 11 that is minus 3 minus 3 right it will be the answer so i hope you have got the logic what is happening here and i hope you are enjoying the session right and believe me these are this is this is, this is the question or these are the questions are already asked in 27th june and also repeated in just few changes that is the value changes or few changes but the same questions were asked in 19 to 23rd july as well so don't try to skip right okay now this is a quiz for you it was also asked in the same slot same question i mean same slot question fully same question just a and operation was there and here is a bit operation right, right? bitwise or operation sorry zord operation right so just solve the problem and give your output in the comment box i will obviously if you give correct answer i will obviously show your comment in the next video okay this is a competition between my family members okay let's see who won right okay let's see another question what is the output if a is equal to 5 b is equal to 4 okay first pause the video and try to solve let's see if possible or not okay i'm solving the problem guys here b minus 3 is 4 minus 5 that is minus 1 right 4 minus 3 sorry 4 minus 3 is 1 right and a zor b right a zor b means in zor operation actually if both the condition are same that is uh, if both the both the element is one and one that is true and true or if the both statement is false and false then both then entire uh, statement is false right if one of the statement is true then it will be true right so b minus 3 is 4 minus 3 is 1 right and less than a or b so a means 5 and 5 uh binary value is 101 right and b4 so b has binary value of 100 right so if 0 and 1 that means it is true so it is 1 right and 0 and 0 it is false right and 1 and 1 it is also false in case of zor operation so it will be 1 right it will be 1 so 1 less than 1 it will check no it is not so it is false so it is not going into the loop right it will directly jump to here and give the output as value of v right so value of b is 4 so it will return 4 this will be the output guys this is very simple question but most of the candidates skip this type of question when they see there is zor operation and operation but uh, sometimes it often happens that uh, they just they actually make false the condition actually because it will reduce the time of thinking right so read the question first carefully so that you can assume that it is going to be false or right right okay the answer will be four right actually i have taken a screenshot from the telegram group that's why i did not get the output actually the options right so answer will be actually four okay okay let's see the last question of today that is what will be the output of the following pseudocode for a is equal to one b is equal to seven c is equal to seven integer function this is this 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 pause the video and try to solve the problem then come with the solution okay i am solving the problem i hope you have already answered in your own practice book or in your mind right okay i am solving the problem here uh, c is equal to a plus 12 
plus b that is it is given value right a is equal to 1 b is equal to 7 c is equal to 7 a is equal to 1 that is 1 plus 12 is 13 plus b is 7 that is 13 plus 7 is 20 b is equal to 8 plus c so 8 plus c means 20 plus 8 that is 28 and it is now checking this condition so c and a operation c means 20 right 20 and a means 1 right a means 1 and 20 binary value of 20 is 10100 right guys if you can't remember what is the binary value of any element any decimal value then kindly watch the previous video i have given a shortcut tricks by which you can actually remember the binary value of any decimal value right just watch the video i have given the link in the description right watch that so 20 has value uh, binary value of 10100 and 1 that is 0001 right so if and operation then it is going to be 0 because 0 and 1 false and 2 is false so both entire statement is false that is 0 right 0 less than b 0 less than 7 no 0 sorry 0 less than b means 28 right so 0 less than 28 yes it is sorry it is actually or operation not and operation so now condition is a and 6 a means 1 and 6 1 means 0 0 1 and 6 means 1 1 0 right so it is again 1 and 0 is false 0 and 1 false 0 and 1 false so entire is false right that is 0 and less than c less than c means 20 so 0 and less than 20 so both the conditions are true 0 less than 28 and 0 less than 20 right so if condition true it will enter into the loop so a is equal to 9 plus 3 that is 9 plus 3 is 12 plus and a 12 and a 12 and a a is 1 right and its binary value is this and 12 binary value is this 10's binary value is 10 10 and the next is 10 11 and 1100 right so this is 12 right so if we do and operation then false and true is false right and false and false 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 and true false false and true is also false so both actually entire is a false statement that is zero and we will now store the value of c uh, so c is equal to b plus a b plus a means a is zero and b is 28 right so 0 plus 28 is 28 a, now we will return the value of a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c means a is 0 b is 28 c is 28 right so 0 plus 28 plus 28 is 56 so the answer will be 56 right so i hope you have already answered the questions so for today we will now end the session and before ending i will again request please subscribe this channel to get such a previous year questions and tutorial regarding off campus or on campus exam right thank you